Hi, welcome. In this video, I'll show you how to build a distributed application that allows for several users to edit the same document at the same time, something similar to Google Docs, but without any coordinating server. IPFS stands for Interplanetary File System and is much more than a file system. It's an entire network stack for the decentralized and peer-to-peer -peer web allowing you to build truly serverless web applications. If you want to find out more about IPFS, you can head out to IPFS's website, ipfs.io. In this screencast, we'll be using JS IPFS, which is a JavaScript implementation of IPFS that works on Node.js and in a modern browser. Our goal today is to create a text editor that requires no server, but yet allows several users to edit the text in a collaborative fashion. You can call it Google Docs without Google for plain text. The product of this demo is located in this GitHub repo. Feel free to download it, install it and poke around. It's simple and instructions are in the readme. Yet, if you're curious, I'll next show you the steps you need to take to create this application. You're going to need some things to make this happen, namely Node.js, JS IPFS, Browserify, YJS, YIPFS connector, and HTTP server. Also, you will need to know a bit of basic JavaScript to be able to understand the code in this video. Next, I'll show you the steps you need to take to install them. If you don't have Node.js installed, you can head out to nodejs.org and follow the installation instructions there. After that, you can create the project directory and run npm init to initialize our application package.json manifest. Here, you're going to answer some basic questions about the content of your manifest. Okay, now that we have a package.json, we can start putting in our dependencies. Next, you'll need to install the HTTP server package so that you can serve some static files. We can now create a start script in our package.json manifest that starts our HTTP server. We're also going to create a public folder to hold our static assets. Now, we need to create a really simple static web page that contains a text area and a script tag for our application code. So here, we're going to add our text area and give it a width, 100% and a height, like 500 pixels and give it an ID that we have to use later. It's called going to be text field. And now we're going to include our JavaScript application code. Okay, so now we can start our web server and try and load our web page. So opening the console, here you can see that app.js wasn't loaded because it wasn't generated. So let's take care of that now. To deploy our application, we'll need to create a single package JavaScript file containing the entirety of our app. For that, we're going to use Browserify, which you should install using npm. So now we're going to create an npm compile script using Browserify. So the first argument will be the entry point for our application, source app.js, uh, then dash o, the output path for the bundle JavaScript, and dash d, uh, which will be a debugging mode. So let's try and first have to create um, the application code itself. So we have to create source app.js. Uh, and just do a console log hello world there. Let's try and compile it. Oops, there's an error. Uh, we're missing the output directory, public slash JS. Let's create that and try it again. Okay, compiles now. Let's reload browser hello world. 
Now we need to download and install JS IPFS using npm. Okay, so back to the code, who so now uh, are going to require IPFS and create uh, an IPFS node using new IPFS, uh, passing in some options. These options are related to PubSub, and also we're going to pass in a custom repo path. Uh, the repo path will be a random one so that we can, from the same browser instance, using different windows, instantiate different um, nodes. Now we're going to listen for the ready event and once the node is ready uh, we're going to ask for its ID and then uh, if there's an error doing that we throw otherwise we print console log pfs node is ready with address and then info.id Okay now let's compile it and reload it and Okay, cool, seems like it's working. Now, we're going to need to install YJS. YJS is a library and framework that allows offline first and decentralized collaborative editing of structured data like text and JSON. It is composed of a main package, YJS, and some modules that you can plug into YJS. We'll be needing the following. So we'll be needing YJS, YMemory, Y, y array, y text, and save them into our package.json. Also, we'll need to install y IPFS connector. Okay, so now we're going to bring this all together. First, we're going to require yjs and then install some dependencies onto y. So, first is y memory, then y array. Uh, also Y text and our Y IPFS connector. Next we're going to create uh, the Y instance. So first we're going to pass in DB name, which is memory, then the connector options, uh, name of the connector is IPFS, the room we're going to make it up, uh, could be IPFS YJS demo, and also the IPFS instance. Also, we're going to have to declare the shareable structures. We're going to share one, uh, which is called data field, and the type is text. And once the Y uh, instance is created, we uh, are going to access the share data, get the text field, and bind it to uh, the document dot get element by the text field, which is our text field inside our HTML document. So let's compile it and try it out. So it's now compiled and reload it and also add another window, create another node. So let's test it, type some text here. Yeah, and it's replicating onto the other window. Also any node can edit the text and it's propagating. Um, we can insert in the middle also, we can create a third node that comes late into the game but receives the text anyway and can also edit. So now let's uh, try and, and go offline. So let's turn off the Wi-Fi and make some changes uh, here on this client and also some changes here on this client for instance this client wants to change every uh, first character of a line to caps and this one is going to add another line so let's turn on the Wi-Fi and wait until the state sinks. So we're waiting for nodes to rediscover and reconnect to each other and should happen any moment soon. Well, yeah, we have two of them are connected and then the third. 
In this video, we saw how we can start creating a collaborative text editor based on YJS and IPFS. We set up our project, install some dependencies, set up an IPFS node, a YJS instance, and we were able to sync the state between the peers in a conflict-free way. If you're interested in the subject of research and or development, there is an IPFS repo dedicated to gathering resources on conflict-free replicated data types, CRDT for short, at this URL. Feel free to read more, watch some lectures and tutorials and poke around. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and I hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.